Hello everybody, and today we are bringing you some Dead Space 3. I apologize if the beginning of my episodes are going to look weird for this game, because it seems it does not get along with the Twitch Studio Beta. I tried hitting my key that would initiate recording, <coughs> and then decided, to, oh hey, by the way, I'm not going to do what you say because Origin. Now the game was finally put onto Steam, but you have to install Origin in order to play it, which to me defied, like, totally... That's not the point of it. But, I'll get over it. So, if you've come to watch, I hope you enjoy the video. Be Feel free to give it a like if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you want to. And if you're gonna dislike the video, at least comment to me as why. I can't get better if I don't know what my problems are. So let's move forward with a little bit of fun necromorph problems. As it with all any... started 300 years ago with the discovery of the Black Marker, an alien artifact found under the old Gulf of Mexico on Earth. It seemed to hold the promise of limitless energy until it produced dementia, insanity, and a twisted life after death known as necromorphs. The details of the original Black Marker disaster were buried in cover-ups and conspiracies, but not before an entire religion could be launched in the name of one of its researchers, Michael Altman. His questionable death turned him into a martyr, and a unitology was born. To this day, it thrives. A secretive organization that believes the Markers are divine and their plan for us, a glorious unity of mind, body, and spirit. Generations after the Black Market disaster, mankind found himself going extinct from lack of resources. Desperate, he sought to replicate the Black Marker in an attempt to harness its limitless energies for himself. The records of this era are unclear, but we now know the replication was successful but the cost too high. The marker copies were all buried, hidden in secret places across the universe where, to all our benefit, they might have stayed. But 200 years later, during an illegal mining operation on Aegis 7, the planet cracker USG Ishimura unearthed one of the forgotten copies, a red marker. And with it, the start of a new wave of marker infections. A key survivor of that incident was an engineer named Isaac Clark. That marker spoke to him and left him with a gift. A mental blueprint of the marker itself. Isaac was captured and tortured by EarthGov. His mind harvested for the marker's secrets. The marker program was thus restarted and a new one built on the populous Titan Sprawl. The disaster quickly followed. He managed to escape, but just barely. There was nothing left but dust, just like Aegis 7. Since that time, the marker crisis has only deepened, and Isaac Clarke, his marker touch mind still burning with the ability to build or destroy them, stays in hiding determined to retreat from the markers and all they have wrought. But there is hope. A backwater ice ball of a planet where 200 years ago, someone somehow stopped a marker uprising in its tracks. A clue from the past that may save our future. I don't remember that intro. <clears throat> I remember it pretty much starting off here, but I don't remember that other intro. <coughs> Very weird.
Yeah, this is where I remember. Oh. Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey 250. Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey 250. Serrano, do you read me? Tim! Oh, thank God! Did you find it? Find it. Doc, I'm not even sure what we're looking for. Just uh, follow the waypoint that sent you. I, I can't tell you anymore. Just get there. Don't, do you hear me? You have to get there. What? Oh, it's lost. What? Dang it. Now, this game fell under a lot of criticism from fans because of how they actually changed okay, it. You can do this. Oh, he's dependent on you. You're a soldier, right? <laughs> right. Gun's not even loaded. But yeah, essentially, um, it was under heavy scrutiny from a lot of the fans. Like, they changed the ammo system so all of your ammo actually works with every gun. It's not separated. So that was one thing that... I don't know. I like, and at the same time... I feel it took away strategy for what weapon you wanted to actually use, you know? Oh, no. And then, uh... It just didn't feel like a Dead Space game, even though I enjoyed it thoroughly. They added multiplayer so that after the intro you could play as... Hey Doc, I found it. Good. Can you get inside? It's all sealed up. Look around. There must be a way. Ah. Finally, some ammunition. Okay, for the sake of argument, I am going to turn on subtitles. But yeah, like, um... I don't know. I feel like they tried too many things at once to try to... change it and make it better. for a cylinder about half a meter long do you see it Kid, you're playing with a dead space veteran, or I guess you're being played by a dead space veteran. We'll be fine. Testing, but cool. I got it. Doc, I got it. Oh. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Where are you? Hey, Doc, I'm hanging from a cliff. But I got whatever this is. The codex! It's the key to saving everything! Meet me at the silo and don't stop for anyone! kid. Fine young soldiers, every one of them. General Mahad, sir. Where's Dr. Serrano? Earl Serrano, always the optimist. Well, he said I should take this into the city. He said there's still time to stop it, sir. There's still time. We lost control! Now, for the love of Earth and the sovereign colonies, we've got to do what's right. You love the Earth, son. Your mom and dad. Yeah, yes, sir, of course. Good. Glad to hear that. Craziness. The absolute craziness. Brothers and sisters, the age of man is at an end. We have become so many. Message 34. Isaac, I know you're there. Come on, pick up the phone. Fine. Look, I just called to say I'm moving on. I have to. Just take care of yourself, okay? I understand you're something of an expert on markers. You created one. I didn't make shit. Your government made me. And you destroyed two, which is why we're here. We got a job for you. No. No! I'm done with that. You find somebody else for your suicide mission. We did. Before we lost contact with her, she told us to find you. Ellie. Where is she? What'd you do to her? Where is she? Unitologists have breached the inner concourse. We can't hold them! Captain, run out of time, gotta go! She's out there all alone, Isaac, and I can't help her unless you help me. Okay. Okay! Here. Let's get moving.
Yeah, sorry. Plasma cutter all the friggin' way, baby. Leave that up there for everyone to read. Okay. I said I'd help you. Now, where's Ellie? How long has she been missing? Just shut up and get over here. We'll explain later. <laughs> of course, Isaac lives in the dredge. Or in the dregs of wherever he is. Gov's last battalion. Name's Norton. Captain Robert Norton. Sergeant John Carver. Last battalion? What do you mean? Last means last, genius. As in no more left. Looks clear. No more left? There's our right. Let's go! Isaac can't catch a break. This way! They're down here! Isaac, move it! Take cover! Go! Opponents do not drop ammunition now, it's only the necromorphs you're able to stomp to get extra. Oh no, maybe not. Ow! Norton! These are unitologists! Why are they trying to kill us? You! They're trying to kill you! What? Just get out of there and shut your trap! Son of a bitch! Ass hat. Here, item wise. Forgot I could do that. Well, ladder time. Get some help on the ladder. It's been a while, I'm a little rusty. Why are these fanatics after You've me? You've destroyed markers in the past, I think that makes you a direct threat to their plan. Plan? Some end time prophecy based on the markers. Convergence? Yeah, Ellie thinks he can stop it. So now she's missing and they followed you here? Yes, now get to the roof of the Dredger Corp building. There's an extraction team waiting. Good night.
<laughs> Suck it, Buttercup. Shit. I've hit the freeway. Then cross it. They're unmanned transports. They don't stop for anything. I've still got my stasis unit. I'll slow the traffic and get across. Whoops. Oops. <laughs> I love that. You guys can all go fuck off. Jackasses. Come after me all you like. I got enough ammo to fuck you up till the next Thursday. Especially because you guys drop ammo for me too. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, the age of man is at an end. We have become too many, too little to go around. Norton, this isn't just a manhunt. It's systematic slaughter. Oh, you noticed. Well, why topple the government? Why Earth Gov? Danik blames them for experimenting with the markers. Thinks it's heresy. So you can imagine what they think of you. Have you reached the extraction site yet? I'm almost there. I do like that they added machine gun style guns to this. <clears throat> that are not just energy weapons, but at the same time. Doesn't feel dead spacey. Like, you know what I mean? This one's still alive. Bring him here. Just the man I was looking for. Oh, don't waste your energy. You're going to be dead in a matter of minutes. Pick him up. There's something I'd like you to see. There. You see that? It's a marker test lab. They're everywhere at all the major colonies and outposts. What do you want from me? As part of the marker test program, Isaac, you helped make them. And today, you of all people get to watch me set them free. No, no. You'll kill everyone. Death is only the beginning, Isaac. Nature must take its course, and I can't allow you or anyone else to stop that. Eyes forward, <laughs> Isaac. Pay attention. cycle of rebirth. Yeah, Isaac will never join that. Even though in Dead Space 1, I got to see him become a necromorph once. That was kind of cool. It was what I call a special death scene or epic death scene. Off my screen, damn it. Right, that happens sometimes. I forgot. It has been a while. I am not going to make excuses. It's been a while, so I'm rusty. Now that you guys are... 
more of the undead variety. Cutting off your limbs is a lot easier. As much as I like the fully automatic firearms, it still doesn't beat the good old plasma cutter for now. And not gonna lie, despite the death and destruction that's probably happening in the streets, that is a gorgeous view. These guys are tougher to take down than your traditional necromorph. But they're easy to peg. He's holding items? Weapons? Alright! I forgot they can do that too! Certain ones, you cut the legs off, the top half will actually throw extra crap. Don't get me wrong, I love the extra challenge that gets given. It's actually more or less awesome. But at the same time, can get very annoying very fast. There's another health kit. Beam me up, Scotty! Isaac, have you reached the extraction team yet? All dead. Danik got here first. Fuck. Then find a way out of the city. I'm coming in with the Eudora. Washington Station's not far. I can ride one of the trains out. Good plan. See you on the tracks. Get open. Get open. Right, those things. If you collect all the... If you collect all the uh, nodes and all that stuff, you're able to actually... Hold on. Where are they running from first? Right. Workbench is offline while you're on Earth. Unless it's a new game plus thing. If this is your first time playing through Dead Space 3, there are some things that we all enjoy doing, such as... Such as wanting to shoot... <laughs> Sorry. I thought there was an Light speed is He's irritating. I actually wanted to shoot his limbs off, but I forgot they changed that from an achievement from Dead Space 2. I sometimes blur the games.
Ow! Hey, necro screw bags. Get off. Ow! Hi! I forgot you guys can actually move in this one! Get off! Slow down! And love yourself! Okay, there's no excuse for me to be out of practice now. I'm just... I really suck tonight. This intro video is going to be a little bit long because I want to get off of Earth get to where we really start to play. Being impulsive and stupid. Not a smart thing to do in the Dead Space universe. Huh? Damn it. No trains. Okay. I made it to the train station. What about Danix, man? I lost him in the panic. This outbreak may buy us some time. We'll grab a train. Let's go. No good. Looks like the train was getting refitted with a new power car. So? I'm gonna have to put it back together. We'll do it fast. Danik's gunships are far off. We'll try to draw them away then. Be fast. Train assembly incomplete. Please attach engine and fuel car before initiating departure sequence. That's what I'm doing. hooked up and ready to head out the south gate. You can't miss it. It'll be the only thing moving. All right, understood. I'll close in once you clear the city. Be ready for pickup. This is going to be tricky. Martin? You still haven't told me what happened to Ellie. Now's not the best time, Isaac. Is she alive? Last I saw her was at Keyhole Station. She said she was on to something big, shocked out to some secret coordinates, and then we lost contact. I know your ex-girlfriend very well. She's still alive and mad as hell we haven't found her yet. Also getting shot at by assholes. It's now or never, Isaac. Come on. Double the train. I want nothing left. Miss five. Launch is five. Four. Three.
Who's that? A boy. Cute kid. You leave him behind? He's dead. Dad had killed him and his mother. I'm sorry. Yeah. Don't be. We're not friends. Well, thanks for the rescue back there. Try harder next time. Carver, high school weekend. Yeah. Good, we're almost there. Get your asses to the bridge. You heard the man. No need to be an ass. Recorded message playback. Hey, look, I'm on patrol. Make this quick, all right? It's his birthday. <sighs> Shit. Is that Dad? Thanks for the present, Dad. All right, everyone, listen up. 13 days ago, Agent Ellie Langford and her team attempted a blind shock to an uncharted planet. She believes it holds the secret of stopping this Parker epidemic. But we've been unable to make contact. Our number one priority is finding and securing Agent Langford and her team. So that was the door to the bridge. I thought so. I knew I wasn't going insane. Fifteen seconds to target. Standing by to D-shot. All right, people, we're going in blind, so stay tight on that exit vector. Rosen, count it out. Exit beacon locked. D-shocking in five, four, three, two, one. What the hell is that? The moon. What's left of one? Rosen, I see it! This is a junkyard. It's more like a graveyard. Any sign of Ellie's ship? I'm reading several transponders, but none of them are ours. According to the registry, they're sovereign colonies warships. Are you serious? They'd be over 200 years old. Wait, wait. I'm getting something. It's an SOS coming from that ship dead ahead. The CMS Roanoke. It could be Ellie. Yeah, let's hope so. All right, Rosen, close to 500 clicks. Aye, sir. Those lights. Are they beacons? Hang on. No. My! Rosen, get us out of here! Collision warning. Brace for impact. I can't. Nothing ever goes right. the weird part. Because of this area getting damaged, you get hurt.
see the room. Rosen, lock, brace yourselves. Once I release the clamps, it's gonna blow us clear of the Adora. Everyone find something to hang on to. Here comes Isaac Clark the Badass. I can't slow it down! Try to steer towards me! I can almost reach you! Whoa, Mike! I got hit by something and I didn't see what. It's the only thing I hate about these sequences, you don't always see everything. I can't slow it down! Try to steer towards me! I can almost reach you! Whoa, Mike! Mike! It's been a random piece of junk. One piece of junk hits you and you're toast. Isaac, where are you? I'm coming. Just hang on. Hi. Ow. Ah. <laughs> Watch it! Watch it! I can't see around it! Then punch through it! Oh no! Oh no! I got it! I got it! Get it under control! <sighs> I'm full thrusters! Uh, it's slowing! <sighs> okay. Uh, okay. There we go. Jesus. Let's not do that again. Can you make it to that cargo dock? Yeah. Yeah, you think there's air on board? Ellie's SOS is coming from somewhere inside, so let's hope so. This is a really cool place to be. Oh, God, it looks like the power's out everywhere. There's no way to activate the cargo doors. I think there's a manual crank on the other door. See it? Right. I'll see if I can get inside. Well, we've got air. <laughs> Dust. Any sign of Ellie? No. Looks like I'm the first person through here in a long time. I'll try to open the cargo doors. Hang on. Heavy standard for me. It's getting hard to breathe. How much longer? Yeah, we're working as fast as we can. Mark's really pale. I can't stop the bleeding. Yes. Hey, Isaac, okay, meet me at the door. I can let you in from this side. All right, there, now get in here. Give me a hand. Isaac, Ellie's SOS is coming from deeper inside this ship, but I can't leave Rosen and lock. Send me the coordinates. I'll go check it out. Here you go. Hey, don't stray too far. That's an order. Tesla core. And that's the starting of us modifying weapons. But, this is where I'm going to actually call it. Video's gone on long enough, I don't want to stretch it too far, and we have a lot of stuff to do in this game. So I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please drop a like. Subscribe if you want to, and if you're going to dislike, please let me know why. I can't get better without feedback. So until next time, see y'all later. Bye!